I know we are all cramming and trying to memorize all these textbooks to score that A, but let's not forget about all these exciting events put together by your ASI team. My name is Natalie Naranjo, your co-host for this episode of da -da -da -da, Beach Week! There is nothing like catching a game of football here in the USU at the Poolside Lounge. The USU Program Council were awesome enough to organize this event so students can take some time off from their studies and enjoy this thrilling game of the Seahawks versus the 49ers. We are here at the USU Poolside Lounge, NFL game day. There's tons of pizza, people just having fun, soda. Now let's go check out what's going on inside. Hi, how's it going? All right. Well, it's obvious that you are a 49ers fan. So what attracted you to come here at the USU and watch the game out here? Well, I don't, I don't normally like uh, playing, playing the game or watching the game by myself. So. Um, I'm hope, hope, I came here hoping to see other fans of football or 49ers in, in general. It's, it's just great to not um, be by myself to watch a, a football game. Well, you know what? We are here at Cal State Long Beach, and we are considered the 49ers. So, hey, let's go 49ers, right? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> thank you. So we just spoke to one of our attendees who happened to be a 49er fan. Now let's go talk to our event coordinator. All right, Kayla, so what's going on? So basically this is NFL game day. Um, it's just an opportunity for students and whoever's around basically to come in and watch the Seahawks versus the 49ers. There's also some opportunities for some gift cards um, and some free food. So it's just sports day for the fans. What made you come up with the idea of creating this game day? So basically we realized that um, amongst all the events that we have, we don't really have one that's either sports related or that aims towards those people who are interested in sports. So we kind of just wanted to have something simple that they can enjoy in between classes. So here we are at the Walter Pyramid where all the homecoming festivities will take place with Sarah. Sarah is a program assistant that helped put together this great event. Hi Sarah, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing awesome. Thank Good. you for coming out and joining us today. No problem. So homecoming is just around the corner, but before we do that, we have some kickstart events. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so we're doing a beach night rally on November 12th from 6.30 to 9.30. And that's going to be really cool. We're going to have a bunch of free pizza. We have some blow-ups, um, some a couple challenges like a lip sync battle, an all-star challenge. So, And students can get involved in that. And we're going to be giving away some awesome prizes. So it should be really fun. And you can also meet and uh, greet with the homecoming court and the oh, men's cool. and women's basketball team. So you can get some autographs with them, get some pictures. And we're going to have a photo booth. So. Some autographs and then some on eBay if they become famous. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> totally. NBA, what up? So, what are some of the highlights that we should be expecting this year? Um, so, we're doing also a Friday event, and that'll be really cool because there's going to be the whole pool side is going to be open. So, we're going to have free bowling, and the game center is going to be open, and billiards and stuff like that. And then Saturday is the big day, though, that you're going to want to look out for. It's from 11:30 to 3:30 before the men's basketball game at four, and it's going to be the big tailgate and all that stuff. So. Sounds pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so homecoming is a very traditional school event and there's a big sporting um, event with the basketball team and then the crowning of the homecoming king and queen. But I'm sure at Cal State Long Beach we do it a little bit different. Can you like elaborate on that please? Yeah, so ours is focused around a basketball game which is a little different. And I think Long Beach is considered more of a commuter school. So it's cool because it really, it's a good week to bring people together, bring our students together and really celebrate our beach pride. and. All School that. spirit. Yeah, exactly. And the tailgate does that really well because we have a bunch of different like food trucks, activities, um, just music, everything. So all the different departments are there so everyone can hang out and celebrate before the game. So around what time should we start like 
signing up for this tailgate or going to this tailgate? 11.30, 11 the festivities start, yeah. So just to be clear, like there's not gonna be a homecoming dance, is there? No, no awkward slow dancing, none of that, <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> okay, so finally, my last question, if you could describe homecoming in three words, what would they be? Ooh, um, energetic, fun, loud, um, I think I've said exciting like eight times, that's four words, but it's going to be a good time. So. Awesome, I can't wait to go. Thank you, Sarah, so much for joining us. So you heard it right here, 49ers. I expect all of you guys here at the homecoming game. There's going to be so many awesome events. Now let's pass it over to the next wave. For the past several years, the popular event, An Evening With, brought you Magic Johnson and George Lopez. They came to inspire our students with their personal experiences and to push them towards success. This year's event is just around the corner and this semester our guest is Stan Lee. The event will be taking place at the Carpenter Performing Arts Center on November 16th at 7 p.m. For more information, please call the Beach Pride office at 562-985-2535. So I better see all you Marble fans out there. We hope you enjoyed and were informed by all these fun events brought to you by ASI Beach Pride. Come on out and participate in these fun events. That concludes this episode of Beach Week with yours truly, Natalie Naranjo. Have a great week, 49ers.